Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, uh, this is a financial education channel that can help you understand investments and eventually leads to more money. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for this content. And today I'm gonna go over options trading. And a lot of people wanted me to go over options trading. Again, I, this is not this isn't advice, it's just financial education. Uh, I don't trade tons of options, uh, but I'm gonna go through how to set up a call option as some people wanted me to do that. So this is options trading. I'll go, in the, go into what I consider to be the setup and what I look for. So this is for options trading. This is how I approach options trading to execute a trade. So here's my approach and in a, or in, in a way to execute a trade. So I look for alignment. So we've got a commodities boom coming. We have inventories dropping. We've got market deficits in the future. We've got near-term increased demand for some of these commodities, uh, whether it be industrial and investment purposes. I'm looking for large chart patterns and I'm looking for producing companies that are highly leveraged uh, to a price. And again, you're going to have to pick companies large enough that have options on it if you want to trade options. Also, this is only financial education. It is not advice. You are responsible for your own trading. So I'm going to show you the setup. I'm going to talk about silver. Uh, silver has a massive cup and, cup and a massive cup and handle pattern. We're moving to the upside on the handle pattern. And again, this is going to take some time to play out, but I think there's some opportunity to get to the $50 level. Uh, potentially pretty quick. So we've got this nice big pattern. <clears throat> so we want to zoom in here and see what's going on. So we zoom in. This is also a decade long pattern. And if you watched some other videos, I've also done videos on this. But we broke out. We came to a back test this area here. Uh, this could even be a cup and handle developing here. And eventually we're going to see this thing break out, I think. So let's zoom in on this area down here. So we zoomed in. This is still a weekly chart. We, we pulled on up, we're creating this kind of cup or hand, maybe this is the handle of a cup and handle par, uh, pattern. And we're compressing up into this line. We've got higher lows coming right into the resistance area. We've got a compression of the candlesticks, meaning that there's a lot of buyers and sellers here. Buyers are holding this thing up, sellers are holding it down. And we're compressing against each, you, uh, against each other, coiling it up like a spring. So let's zoom in on this area. Uh, on a daily candlestick chart basis. So this is what it looks like on a candlestick chart basis uh, for a daily level. We've got this nice cup pattern or bowl shape pattern. Lots of buyers down here with the wicks. We've got increasing lows into this resistance area, indicating that we're gonna break through this area eventually. We've got nice good contraction here. So typically we wanna see large up candlestick days and then the small little candlesticks next to them. And that's what, exactly what we're seeing. So this is the trait that this thing could potentially go to the upside. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen in, in a second and doesn't mean that this can't come back in this bowl area for a little bit longer, but I think eventually this is gonna break to the upside. So this is looking really good uh, to put on, let's say an options trade. And one last chart just to show you uh, from a big, very big perspective uh, that this could be a massive cup and handle pattern. And then the price projection is quite a bit higher than where we are at today, if you were to look at it from a very large perspective. So we also have that uh, in, in the background here. And this is another chart break pattern showing that, that pattern. So uh, Endeavor Silver, so this is, this is the trade that we're gonna put in. Let me go back here. So this is Endeavor Silver. We've got a cup and handle pattern with the projected breakout. We've got another view at it. This could be the cup and little handle with the breakout and the projected move is far higher than where we are at today. So it's a very good asymmetric bet. And if we zoom in, obviously it's very similar to silver. We've got the, the cup shape pattern. We came kind of across, we've got bullish piercing, bullish piercing. Uh, we've got good volume all throughout and we've got higher lows stepping into the resistance line. And this is kind of what it looks like. You can kind of come up, it came back and then it broke to the upside. We have this nice little back test does this all the time. You break up, back test, and then we're moving on higher. Once you break this guy here, I think it's really gonna move and we're right there. It's kind of like we peaked out, we came back a little bit and we got a nice big bullish engulfing here of the, this is the candlestick, the body length, um, 
engulf the ones before it. So this means that it's a continuation pattern moving to the upside. So right now would be a very good time, I think, to execute an option order, uh, because a call option, to say, hey, look, this thing's probably going to break to the upside because we've got silver that's prime. We have a company right here that broke to the upside of this large pattern, and it's in momentum. Because when you do an option, you want to do an option that has basically momentum to the upside because we've got that time decay on it. We've got that whenever you have a part of the option, the value is the time of the option. So we want to make sure that we get into something that's broken a large chart pattern that could potentially have its commodity break out to the upside. And we want it to be kind of moving already. That's that's my opinion on it. And we have that with EXK. So how to execute an option trade. So we like EXK. We want to put an option on. We think silver is going to go higher. How do we actually perform the transaction and what does that look like? So I have my account here. It's one of my accounts. It's my smaller account in Robinhood. And I'm going to show you, these are the options. So we went in there. <clears throat> we went into EXK. If you want to see, you, you, you pull up EXK. Uh, we want to trade the options here. So we're, we're in the options here. This is the March 19. You can choose your option, April 16, May 21st. This here is the option. This is an out of, so this is the share price at 580. These are in the money options. These are these two bottom. These are out of the money options. And you can see that the, there's a huge price difference between out of the money options and in the money options. And remember, this is March 19th. It's only a month uh, on this contract here. This one's pretty cheap. It's 25 cents. Um, you can see that the ask price is 30 cents. The bid price is 20. And they have the price in between the two for the mark. Uh, so basically, you probably can get this for 30 cents. That's probably what the price will be somewhere around there. So if you want to put a, a one month contract on, it would cost 25 cents or maybe 30 cents, depending on what it fills. So you'd want to hit plus and it would say long call option. You want to say, okay, 25 cents continue. And then you just put in your contracts. Like let's say you want 10 contracts. <clears throat> it's going to cost uh, $250 for that. You're going to hit review order and then you put the order in just like you would buying any type of stock even. It's very similar to that. And your limit price is 25 cents. That's the highest it's going to go. And you have to put a limit price in there. So that's how you would execute this order. And obviously, if you look at some of these other ones, like April 16th, uh, it's 53 cents here. Um, this one is, let me get out of this guy here. This is 53 cents here. This is 33 cents for a $10 call option. You notice it's 580 right now. We've got a strike price of 10 and 750. Obviously, the farther you out, in, in, the farther out uh, of the money that you are, the cheaper the contract is. For an April 16th, I think I would stick with the 750 call option. That's probably where I would I would be. If you want to do a little bit longer one, May May I I, I, would, be, I would start thinking about doing a $10 call option possibly. <clears throat> the farther you go out into the future, or I should say, the further you go out in the future, the higher you 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 can go and still capture a lot of gains. So in August, I would definitely be doing a $10. And you can see I've got plus nine. I've got nine, nine call options uh, at that price. <clears throat> it's 85 cents. And I think that's what I bought it for was 85 cents. And it was down 3% today. And then if you keep going out, the options get more and more expensive because you're paying for that time. You're paying for that time uh, to hold the option. So what I do is I've got a couple of 750 I've got 10 750 call options on EXK purchased. I think I had to get them at 30 cents. And then I've got uh, August call options, nine of them at $10 at 85 cents. So I actually put that on. I don't have any in May and I don't have any in April. Otherwise, they would show you here. So that's what I have put on uh, personally. Now, this is not something that I recommend to anybody. This is just me. I'm showing you how to set it up. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, um, this is just the the mechanics of of putting an order in, how to look at this stuff, how to view it. Uh, typically, on a short term contract, you're going to want to do a call option. If I, if you're going to do an out of the money call option, my opinion is get it somewhat closer uh, to the price that it's currently at. The further you go into the future, 
the further away you can go because you've got a lot of time value in that contract. And if it starts moving up, uh, what I've seen doing options is that uh, it doesn't really affect the return even in the, if, if it moves a little bit in the short term, it does affect the entire curve further out into the future uh, and it prices them all higher. Now, it may not move, a $10 call option may not move very much on a March contract because the time is so limited. So you have to take that into, in, into consideration that if you're doing very small duration contracts, ones that don't have a lot of time left on them, like a one or two month contract, you have to choose, I think, the, the ones that are very close to being in the money. You can also choose an in the money option, uh, which is also very profitable on a short term contract. So you choose in the money, like you would choose a $5, here I can do it right here. You choose this $5 one, if it's expiring in March or April, you choose the $5 one, but you're gonna pay a huge premium for that. This one is still extremely cheap. Now, if we see a large run in EXK, this option is gonna go ballistic here because you don't have much time on it and people right now are discounting that, that time saying it's not gonna move. Uh, we, we're not gonna give it much value because right now we don't think it's going to move. It's not really going anywhere and it's kind of dead. The volatility is, is dead. But if you know how to look at charts, we can see that it's compressing up and squeezing up right into the corner of that uh, chart pattern. So it's got low volatility, which means the, the, the option contract kind of gets priced down. It's a little cheaper because uh, usually they price in volatility to it. And if, it, if we see a large move to the upside and it breaks that pattern right now, uh, these options are gonna go way higher in terms of their value and price. So uh, a 580 or $6 stock, EXK could easily break you know, $650, $7 very quickly. And this option would be far more valuable because it's very close to the strike price at that point. So uh, I put an option on it. I'm doing this real time. I have nothing to hide. Maybe it doesn't pan out. Uh, and, and that's okay because I don't have a lot of money on it. Um, so that's that's one way to play this. If it's at 30 cents and I have $10, I have $300 on it. It's a very small position size. So that's how I'm playing this. Uh, you can see it real time. You can follow it if you want and see if this one uh, is, is it expires worthless or if I lose my butt on it uh, or if I make a bunch of money. And I can post afterwards uh, on the results of this particular option if you want me to and everyone can see that I either won or lost on this option. Uh, thank you for listening, everyone. If you, if you like this and it's entertaining, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.